I'm going to show you how to get to the MSI Center fan control and also get MSI Center to even work. I can't recreate this 100% because I already got it to work and I can't get it to screw up again. But I'm going to show you how I got to this point. It took me about a year and a half to figure this out. I finally figured it out today, how to make it actually work. And I figured there's got to be other people out there with the same issue. So what I did is I uninstalled everything MSI from the computer except MSI Player. That didn't seem to matter. What I did was I used uh, Revo Uninstaller. Go ahead and download that if you want. The reason I use that is this uh, Revo Uninstaller is because you can delete all the registry entries as well on the back end of it. So if you go in here, type in MSI. Uh, so what I did was I deleted the MSI Center, the SDK. I just delete that, delete all the red entries. I'm not going to delete it here because then I'll just have to reinstall it. But you want to delete that. Make sure that's gone. Then, like I said, the, the sound tune doesn't matter and the app player, that doesn't, these those two don't affect anything and the dragon center if you have the old dragon center go ahead and delete that that's obsolete for most stuff these de these days anyway you won't get it to usually run unless you've got like one of the older older computers so <clears throat> that you really don't need if that's working on your computer then you likely don't need the center so it's really one or the other so once you get dragon center and you get the sdk deleted type in the msi uh control center as well and if you have that currently installed and it's not working delete that basically anything is msi go ahead and delete except for the app player or the sound tune if you want those don't really seem to affect this for some reason but delete everything msi and delete the registry entries for all of those things and then shut down your computer and restart it or just just restart it really and then if you go over to msi center here and download then it will obviously download you install the thing i don't think there's any customization during the install and then you bring it up once it'll say that it's got to restart it does that even if it's not going to work so that's kind of the scary bit once you get to there but it will restart on this on the second time it will reload and then you can come up to let's see basically i'll just i'll open it up and just reload it and show you MSI Center. So this is the screen. It'll pop up when you first open it up. Now there's all these features. When you go to install initially, when you start it, it'll have this screen right here. I forgot to say that. There's all these things you can install. Uh, install what you want. Uh, I don't believe that the fan control is actually part of this. It's part of the base program. So, but this is what you'll see uh, once you get everything installed that you want. Uh, so the fan control, you get up to features right here, and then you go to user scenario, which is a little weird. It doesn't say anything about fan there. That's odd that it's in that. Honestly, I think it should be a separate tab, but it's not. User scenario, click that, and if you go super battery, silent, balance, those will affect the fan speed as well. But you want to go to, to extreme performance. Oh, and first I forgot to say discrete graphics mode. That is performance. You can see if you want hybrid on. I choose discrete graphics. Anyway, if you do select one or the other, if it's different from what you already have, you're going to have to restart your laptop or, well, your desktop. So go to extreme performance here. Click that. And it is the second one right here. I'm not messing with any of that. I don't need to overclock any of my stuff for offset. So I go to fan speed. There's auto which does not work well for me because the laptop will get really hot and it'll overheat and shut down before the fans kick on full bore. So that doesn't work for me. Cooler booster, they're basically just always on. Now, if you click advanced, these are the settings I have right here. I wish that down here it would say the temperature, but it does not as to like when the fan speed would be over here and when the fan speed's over here. On mine, I've got the two fans going. I've got two fans available. So what I set it to is 25. It's basically always running at 25%. That was set to zero, I believe, when I first got to this point. Then I set it to 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 there. So I want it at 100 before it even gets toasty hot where you could cook some bread on the laptop. I'm really not comfortable with that. So I've had a problem with this for about a year and a half trying to figure this out. I could never get this program to load. It would basically hang install after install. It just wouldn't do anything. Sometimes it would say it was loading and then just shut down. Sometimes it would hang. Today I got to this point, and so I wanted to share that with everybody and how to get to this. So basically as a recap, uh, Revo Uninstaller, I think it's a fantastic program. Uninstall everything MSI. You can do the app player sound tune if you want. Those on my end didn't seem to affect it, but anything that's MSI and also the Dragon Center if you're not going to need that, or just do that anyway because you can reinstall that. Shut down your computer, install MSI Center, then open it up, go to features, go to user scenario, and then fan speed. And that is how you not only get MSI Center to work, but also the fan control. And of course, click save right there. Default will just basically put it to auto. I don't recommend that. And again, I wish that it had the temperature. Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvins, I don't care, but I wish that it would have had that at the bottom here and then the top to tell the temperature when the fans are going to kick on but this seemingly has worked for me i process 8k video a lot of the time so i do need the fans to kick on at the proper time i hope this works let me know if it works for you if you have any problems i can attempt to help i'm not the best with all of this but i just wanted to let everybody know that i did figure this out and it took a long time to get here so thank you for watching until this point